When you've gone through the steps of creating a visualization in RAW and you actually want to show other people your work, what you're going to need to do is download the graphic. RAW gives you a few different ways to do this. Now, once you've created your graphic, and here I have music using a stream graph, you can download it or you can embed it. In this section, I want to talk about downloading. RAW gives you three choices. You can do a vector graphic, an SVG file, an image, a PNG file, or a data model, a JSON or JavaScript object notation file. We'll start with an SVG file. Since that is really the point of using RAW is that it allows you to get vector graphics from spreadsheet or CSV files. All we need to do is give it a name. I'll call it vector and we download it. And so now it's downloaded with the SVG extension. And when I go to my download folder, you can see it right there. And we can click on that for quick view. And you can see the whole thing. Now, an SVG file is really nice for working in something like Illustrator or Photoshop or Inkscape or something like that. Because you can then modify it because it brings in the information that describes the edges and the colors. You can also open it up in a browser. I'm going to do that with Google Chrome right now. And there it is. And because it's a vector graphic as opposed to a pixel based image, I can zoom in and I can zoom in a lot. Let's get into 500% here. And then you see it still has all of the sharpness of the original image. I'll go back out to zero. And so that's a really easy way you can take a vector graphic and you can either look at it in a browser or a photo manipulation software or some other package and you can even modify it within that setting. The next choice is to save the graphic not as a vector graphic, but as a standard image in this case a ping or PNG file. This is raster which means it gives pixels in rows and columns. I'll do this as I'll just call it image. And I'll do download. And you see now it's gone to download it as image.png. Go to my download folder. And there it is right there. We'll do a little quick view on it. And that's nice. I'm going to open it with preview. That's built in application on the Mac. And the one trick though, is if I zoom in on it a lot, you see that it gets all pixely here in the corners. That is the trade off of a raster based graphic that it does do that. But on the other hand, basically any program can open a PNG image file and you can put them into your web pages, you can send them in text messages, there's a lot of ways that you can use them. And so they're more flexible that way. We'll close that. The third option is to download it not as an image per se, but as a data model, a JavaScript object notation. And I'm just going to rename that as data model. And I'll download it. And this time it works a little differently. So I'm going to come over here and well, right now it's actually thinking that it's a max MSP document, which it isn't. Now if you want to open this, you can open it in a browser. So if I want to open it in a browser, I can just come and open a new tab. And then I can drag it into my browser. And what you get is not an image, but a description of the things that go into creating the image where we have all the x and y coordinates. And we have the identifiers. Now, if you want to see this a different way, if you want to see it cleaned up with the structure, we can go to a site called JSON pretty print. And there that is right there. And I'll copy the data, just copy all of that and paste it into here. And then you can see the nested structure of all the data where it's really now showing you the x and y for each of the data points. And by the way, it's it's really long. But that is one way to look at it. Now the reason the JSON data matters is because you can take that data and read it into other visualization programs like for instance, d3.js or other JavaScript based methods of data visualization. And so this gives you sort of the raw data portability in a way that you might not have if you were just working with a CSV file. 
And so this can be considered the third way of taking your work in raw and putting it out in another format and an opportunity to share it.